Hi everyone, this video is a follow-up to our condensation tutorial. If you haven't seen that one yet, I recommend checking it out. Today, I'll be sharing a few extra tips to enhance the appearance of your meshing. Plus, I'll guide you through rendering it with V-Ray. You might have noticed that condensation effects can vary quite a bit. In the previous tutorial, we used a basic condensation effect as our reference. But you can achieve a more organic look with some simple tweaks. First, try adjusting the voxel size of the tie measure. Increasing the voxel size just a bit can help create more natural, organic results. Next, add a noise modifier. For an extra touch, apply a tie conform modifier to flatten the mesh on the surface. Be sure to turn off the adaptive option to prevent any jittering. Finally, adding a few extra particles can help break up the pattern and introduce some denser points for a more varied effect. Now, let's dive into the V-Ray rendering part. All the Redshift material nodes we use can be swapped out to work with V-Ray. For example, we previously used an ambient occlusion node to adjust glossiness based on proximity to an object. Let's replicate this in V-Ray. Start by adding a V-Ray dirt map to the glossiness channel. We can hide our object temporarily to get a clearer view of the effects. However, you might notice that the V-Ray dot map doesn't account for the inside parts of the geometry, so it might not work for our needs. Instead, let's use the V-Ray distance map. Enable the inside options and tweak the colors to achieve a more realistic result. If you have the Phoenix FD plugin installed, there's another method you can use, which is particularly handy for working with particles. Whether you're using a tie flow or a tie cache system, make sure to activate the particle interface for it to work properly. Add a Phoenix FD particle texture. While it's designed for creating wet maps in liquid simulations, it can also be useful in many cases. Since the colors here are either black or white, you'll need to remap them. While Redshift had a dedicated node for this, V-Ray doesn't, but it does support OSL textures, which can be used to achieve similar results. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. You can download the files on my Gumroad. Have a great day.